right, coming up next, it's a flyweight matchup between Brandon Moreno and TJ Dillashaw. So here we go with round one. The tension is palpable. On one side, you've got one of the more well-rounded fighters in this division taking on a true submission specialist. Yeah, he's taking on a true submission specialist. And when you talk about submission specialists, nobody matches up to this guy. He is that good at getting you to the ground and choking you up. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh, connects with another uppercut. So that's been the weapon of choice, and he went back to it there in Lance. Over and over again, he has thrown that punch and because he feels comfortable there. He does not feel like his opponent can return anything because he's popping his head up every time he lands that nice uppercut. Misses again with a right punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick lands by the channel. Nice punch, Lynn. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. Tom, stop it. Oh! In fight numbers for you now. 29 total strikes and counting now. have landed for TJ Dillashaw. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent for a And now he lands a combination. Jab again. Has oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits the double leg. Under two minutes now to go. Oh, man. Ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Nice punch by Moran. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Final seconds. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Round two next. <laughs> Round two underway. Good punch land. And this 
might just be a matter of time. Full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine. They have the arm bar. They have the kimuras. They have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit just digs into the bottom. He's hit shot with every part of himself, and now he's got to Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking around early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Moreno gets back up. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's coming high. And now he's got a hurt back. Entertaining scrap so far. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end. Stuffs the takedown without issue. Both guys appear to land there. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to go. Go finish this fight. Oh, looks like he's trying to isolate an arm, maybe set up a Kimura here, DC. Yeah. Oh, now he's in trouble. him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting. And it showed tonight in this big submission victory. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 16 seconds of round number three. You play the winner by tap out. Brandon, the assassin baby, Moreno! All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you 